Hello everyone and welcome back to Jus de Rose. Today's video is about my favorite men's designer fragrances. I'm a sucker for niche perfumes, but you know, you gotta share some love for designer fragrances once in a while. So if you wanna know what these are, make sure to keep on watching. Let's kick off with my favorite men's Chanel fragrance. It is the original Allure Homme Eau de Toilette. Now Bleu de Chanel is great as well and so is Allure Homme Sport Extreme, but by far my favorite has always been the original Allure Homme. And what I like about this fragrance is that it isn't as formal maybe or professional smelling as Bleu de Chanel so it has more of a relaxed feeling yet it's a little bit more put together than Allure Homme Sport Eau Extreme. Now this perfume has an interesting duality between hot and cold because of the mix of ingredients so you have some bergamot, some vetiver, black pepper, tonka bean and labdanum. So when you spray this perfume at first you're going to get all the citruses, the really uplifting side of this cologne and as it dries down on your skin you're going to get like the sweeter notes and more ambery notes are gonna come out. So this is a fantastic, versatile perfume for men. It will do everything. It's like an all-in-one perfume, if you will. You can wear it at the office, you can wear it on chill days, you can wear it on a date because it is also a little bit sexy. Not the strongest in terms of performance, nor does it last forever. On my skin, it lasts between six to seven hours. The performance is moderate, but in my opinion, this is really the essence of Chanel in a masculine cologne, which is why I would recommend it to you guys. Next up, we have a Summer Freshie. It is Chrome by Azaro. This is another fantastic, versatile perfume, but more for the summertime. So if you only have one perfume that you can get for the summertime, I would recommend Chrome because you can use it in many different situations and it's great to transition from day to night. It is a citrus, woody, aquatic fragrance with notes of bergamot. There's some floral undertones as well, musks and woods. To me, this perfume is the perfect hybrid between a fresh out of the shower type of perfume minus the shower gel notes mixed with the softness of freshly cleaned laundry so that is thanks to the musks that is in this perfume that is going to add a bit of softness cleanliness a staple from the 90s and for sure still a timeless classic okay the next two perfumes are within a similar category I've talked about these in my 10 men's fragrances for life I love these two perfumes so much they are Bulgari man in black and spice bomb extreme by Victor and Rolf so those those two perfumes are within the date night banger category whereby they smell spicy with tobacco nuances and they're sweet and they're just like totally irresistible. I'm going to start off with Spice Bomb Extreme. I absolutely adore the scent. I tend to wear it myself sometimes because I do like the sweetness of it that Bulgari Man in Black doesn't have as much. So this perfume has main notes of pepper, cinnamon, tobacco, some vanilla and sweeter notes that makes it super addictive. I'm actually gonna spray it right now. I love it so much Amazing when you don't swallow the fragrance doesn't taste good but How does this compare to Bulgari man in black and I actually prefer on the skin the smell of Bulgari man in black It's less sweet than spice bomb extreme and I find that man in black is you know a little bit more refined and has more of a niche edge I mean is more unique smelling I would say than spice bomb extreme man in black has similar notes to spice bomb extreme So you're gonna find the cinnamon you're gonna get the tobacco as well, but it is blended with rum and oh this booziness is just so great, really elevated and sophisticated at the same time, whilst being sexy too. Now when it comes to the longevity of these two perfumes, I find that they last in a similar way on my skin. I don't really know what's going on with the Spice Bomb Extreme because I thought it would last longer, but I get between five to six hours of longevity with both of these perfumes. And I will say though that the projection is much stronger on the Spice Bomb Extreme versus Bulgari Man in Black. With Bulgari Man in Black, the projection is moderate to soft, whereas the Extreme is strong to moderate for say like the first three hours or so. And I recommend mixing these two fragrances. So you can spray, for example, Men in Black around your neck area and then Spice Bomb Extreme your clothes or your wrists. Have fun with these two fragrances. They pair really nicely. Next, we have a staple from Dior. It is Diorum Original. Now, before you tell me you can't get Diorum Original anywhere, you can get it on the Dior website. I just had a look before filming this video. It is still available. I will put the link in the description box down below as well as the link 
to all of the fragrances in this video, you can't find this perfume. Trust me. This fragrance is the OG of sexy iris fragrances for men. There have been a lot of perfumes since Dior Homme that launched. I'm thinking Valentino Uomo or Valentino Uomo Intense by Valentino as well as Givenchy Gentleman. The best within that category is for sure Dior Homme Original. So yes, you're going to get a light lipsticky effect in this fragrance, but honestly, I find it to be super masculine. Like, I wouldn't wear this fragrance. I think it's such an unusual take on masculine fragrance. Not only that though, the iris is buttery, it's earthy. You also have some light chocolatey facets because of the woods in this scent. It smells very masculine, very sexy, kind of like a sexy daddy scent, I would say. This is how I think about this perfume. It is a sexy daddy scent. This guy has his life together. Gentlemen, if you can get your hands on it, I highly recommend you do. Next up, we have La Nuit de l'Homme by Yves Saint Laurent. This is the Eau de Toilette, not an original choice, but you know what? It smells amazing and it gets the job done. This is another perfume that is an all-in-one scent, extremely versatile, compliment getting, doesn't last super long. You have to overspray with the scent, but you'll get a lot of use out of this perfume. Don't get a little tiny bottle like this. Get one of the big ones, 100 or 150 ml, because you need to overspray with the scent. Such a gorgeous, spicy, woody fragrance with cardamom, with cedarwood. Oh, this is amazing. It's like effortless and sexy, but at the same time put together. So if I had to only recommend one fragrance for men, like just one, one designer fragrance that does it all, it would be La Nuit de l'Homme by Yves Saint Laurent. Another great classic is Terre d'Hermès, the Eau de Toilette. This is a bright vetiver complemented with citruses such as grapefruit and orange. It's really uplifting and also has a bit of cedarwood in the background to maintain like a understated chic elegance, which is what I love about a lot of Hermès fragrances. They're very elegant, but they're super wearable at the same time. On my skin, it lasts all day with moderate to soft projection. I do like to wear this one as well once in a while. I think it's just fantastic woody perfume. And gentlemen, if you're looking for a really high quality designer scent, this is Terre d'Hermès, this is where it's at. Now I've said this before, if you're not into Terre d'Hermès because it's maybe a little bit too mature leaning, that kind of a vibe, and you want something that is more youthful, but you like Vetiver, this is where Bleu Noir by Narciso Rodriguez comes into play. Now I'm not saying that the two perfumes are the same, they're not at all. I just think that Bleu Noir is a great modern and more youthful Vetiver fragrance. You also have some spices with cardamom, and there's also a really lovely musky notes in the base, which is really common to a lot of the Narciso Rodriguez fragrances. They do musky scents like no other brand. Now this is the Eau de Toilette. They also have a new version, the Parfum, that came out. I smelt it on the blotter. It smells great, but personally I would always go back to the Eau de Toilette. A bright vetiver fragrance with some spicy nuances and also really good for formal settings. The last two fragrances are within the date night category and the first one is probably my favorite sweeter scent for men. It is Luna Rosa Black by Prada. Now when I say sweet, it's not syrupy, it's not sticky sweet, nothing like that. It just has that addictive sweetness in like the right level, if you know what I mean. You have a dominant note of coumarin, which is an ingredient that has facets of almond, so powdered almonds, but you can also get some like dry hay-like notes too, but in this fragrance you're more gonna get like a powdered almond feeling. You also have some woods and ambroxan. And on my skin it develops a luxury soapy feeling that's quite clean and powdery, which is very much the DNA of Prada. You can find that in all of their masculine fragrances and certainly you can find it in here. So overall it's never going to be like too sweet of a perfume. Great performance on my skin. It lasts between 8 to 10 hours and I find that the projection is really good. Like I find the projection to be strong. Whenever my husband wears this around the house I smell it everywhere and yeah I don't see any issues with performance. My favorite Prada fragrance for men. And finally we have Le Mal de Parfum by Jean-Paul Gaultier. This is my favorite flanker and actually my favorite perfume from the entire Le Mal range. The reason why I like it so much is because because it contains the original DNA of Le Mal, so that amber fougère DNA, so like this fresh but also a little bit sweet note, but it also has the addition of cardamom and iris. And the iris in this fragrance is very different to Dior Homme. It is a little bit powdery, but you're not gonna get like a lipsticky note whatsoever. It adds the elegance that this perfume needed. This is by far the most sophisticated smelling fragrance out of the whole range. As for the performance on my skin, it lasts all day with a 
good projection. However, the projection is the softest compared to all of the other Le Mad fragrances. That being said, you can still smell it and it is great for closer encounters such as date night. And this is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and remember, spread the fragrant love.